everyone, welcome back to the collective wardrobe. If you're new to the channel, um, I just want to introduce myself. My name is Isabel, and I'm so happy you're watching this video. Today I am doing a video about the decades. I'm going to go from the 50s all the way to the 90s and show you some inspired outfits. I'm really excited because I'm going to be doing the hairstyle, the makeup, and the outfits. Some of the outfits are actually authentically like from that decade, but a lot of the stuff is just things that I thrifted that I think give off that like vibe. I did an 80s lookbook a while back and now I am doing a like completely decade ness <laughs> And now I'm doing a video with like all of the decades compiled together. I'm going to show like maybe two or three looks for each decade and um, I'm really excited about this because I just think it's so cool how much fashion changed and like evolved just in a span of like 10 years so I'm really excited to show you guys what I have and what I'm going to show you you're going to see a lot of hair change because my hair is still long I'm getting it cut literally tomorrow at 4 and is that a bug? anyways okay so I'm getting my hair cut tomorrow and I'm going to film the rest of this video tomorrow when my hair is cut so that way I can style it in different ways. I'm going to keep my hair long for the 70s, 80s, and some of the 60s looks. And then for my short hair, I'm going to be doing the 50s, rest of the 60s, and the 90s looks. Just so I can have more versatility when I'm making these looks. Because I want them to be sort of authentic, but I also want them to be inspired and just like a creative process. So I am so excited to get started. I know I've said that like 500 million times. I'm really scared this bug is going to eat me. It's like this big, but still. Yeah, ignore the pimple on my face. You know, sometimes it just happens. Anyways, let's get started. I wanted to start off the 50s with more of like a modern woman look because women didn't really wear pants until the 50s. So I wanted to show what that style kind of looked like. I'm just wearing some high-waisted pants and a little shirt. But I tied my hair back super simple, I twisted it back and then wore my makeup really simple as well. And then I just added some cute little saddle shoes and this like cashmere turtleneck. And then the pants are these high waisted checkered pants. And I think the look is definitely an accurate representation of the 50s and it turned out really well. And then I dressed up as a 50s housewife. The shoes are more 40s, but if you're a housewife, you probably didn't update your shoes. And I wanted to pick some heels because a lot of women in the 50s wore heels and like perfectly perfect dresses while vacuuming and stuff like that. So I decided to make it a little bit authentic that way. In the 60s, Paisley was really popular, so I chose this dress because it was Paisley and it had that 60s shape to it. And then I decided to wear some Mary Janes and do the flippity flip with my hair. Um, this was a very popular hairstyle. I tried my best to make it as flipped as possible. And I wore some simple white hoop earrings to give it more of that 60s look. And I think it brought the look really 60s together, if you know what I mean. The next look is this like shift dress. And it's green. It's a mock neck. It gave off major 60s vibes for me. I added some like little white shoes. And then for my hair, I added a bump it. I added a hair scarf. I did the makeup like the 60s as best as I could. And I think it gives off some 60 vibes for sure. And the bump bit is just making me laugh right now. But yeah, that's what they wore. So I had to make it accurate, you know? Moving on to the 70s, probably one of my favorite decades. This dress is actually my grandma's. She wore this at some point in her life and I mean it's literally from the 70s so what else can you ask for? I mean it fits me perfectly, it's kind of like impressive. And I put my hair down the middle because that was a look then. And then look at this pattern. So 70s. It's got the belt. It's got the buttons. It's got the fit. It has everything. And yeah, I just really like it. It's adorable. Very 70s. It gives me off like a... I don't even know. But I love it. I designed this look off of an uh, outfit that was on Pinterest from a 70s magazine. Basically what I did is I added a beret and then I put a white button down underneath a orange like sweater vest and I tucked it into some like brown corduroy 
flares and this was just a look that was very popular in the 70s, the layering, the sweater vests, and the button downs. So I decided to put them all together and call it a day. I really like the beret, you know, I love some beret action and yeah. And then the last look of the 70s is this more casual look. It's just some high-waisted flare jeans and a retro tee with some tree torns to give it off that like summer 70s hippie vibe. I did a braid in my hair, split it down the middle, looking like Jesus a little bit. It just all came together, you know? This shirt's from Forever 21, don't hate me, but yeah, it's a fake retro. But these are authentically vintage and I love them because they're high-waisted, they have pockets in the front. The flare is beautiful, the tree torns are not real vintage, but tree torns were really popular back then. So you know, you just got all of that combined to make this 70s look and I love it. It's so cute, that's all I have to say. So, the 80s were all about big, like big pants, big shirt, big hair, all of it, just go for it. And that's what they did, so I decided to make a look on that oversized idea with the hot pink color and just mess around with it a little bit. And this definitely gives me off 80s vibes, the pants are actually from the 80s, the jacket is actually still for sale if anyone wants it. And then I decided to do a second look that was more like the late 80s moving into the 90s where it's like more of like that bossy look and I made sure I teased my hair and put on a big scrunchie try to give that look. I don't know if I fully accomplished it but I think it represents the late 80s pretty well. You can't go wrong with high-waisted pants and a blazer, you know what I mean? Moving into the 90s, I have this look. It's these high-waisted pants with some penny loafers and a little, like, turtleneck, if you may. It's kind of like a mock neck, but anyways. And I put a little belt on it. This gives me off major 90s vibes, boss woman, whatever you want to call it. Very popular look. I think the 90s is when it really started to like break a barrier in fashion when it wasn't all just about wearing dresses and stuff like that. There was actually like more of a complexity to it. So I decided to do some denim on denim. This look is actually based off Winona Ryder. So I tried to do my hair like hers and stuff like that. But it really messed around with that masculinity and femininity as well. So that's kind of cool. But then I wanted to show you a more feminine 90s look. Just a simple little dress with some penny loafers to give it more of that like simple casual 90s like going out look and I know there's so many different parts of the 90s that are so complex and that's why I wanted to show a couple different looks so here is another simple look that I did layering was really big so I wanted to show you a little bit different look with that this is more like the late 90s but yeah I hope you enjoyed it